Today, we are going to redo the rudders for the boat. These are the rudders for the Gemini 3000 that we bought. So these are made of solid mahogany. And as you can see, they've seen better days. They got some wormholes in them. This is where somebody accidentally hit this with a power washer. Uh, they've also got some cracks. And probably the reason that they've got cracks is that they've been out of the water for the last three years. And the salt water actually works as a preservative. So, the choices were either to remake these uh, and find a new piece of mahogany and shape it like this, or do what I'm going to do, which is encase this in fiberglass, uh, fiberglass epoxy, epoxy fiberglass. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to lay down fiberglass material and then saturate it with epoxy. And what that should do is encapsulate uh, and protect from the outside the uh, fragile wood inside. So first thing we're going to do is run, hit this with the sander, take off the excess, get down to some fresh wood, uh, get any whatever impurities are out here on the outside and uh, also take just a little bit off because the epoxy and the glass will add just a little bit to it and it is a it is a confined piece that they fit down into we'd like to have the finish size as close as we can to the original therefore taking a little off seems like a good idea uh, but mostly just to fair everything up and uh, give us a nice surface to adhere the epoxy to so Okay, that is amazing. <laughs> Look at what was under that gray. This beautiful, deep mahogany. Remember, that's what it was. That's what's under there. Unfortunately, kind of a shame because I think I'm gonna paint over this. So, the reason that we absolutely can't just put these rudders back in the water is right here. So, this rudder's got a really nasty split in it. Let me, let me get that for you. <laughs> you can see it more from this side. So, I'd like to blow this out with the air gun and see if uh, See if we can get some adhesive down there in that joint before we do the epoxy. Just uh, an additional layer inside to help it hold and then the epoxy and the fiberglass on the outside and possibly the paint. Oh man, that sure is pretty. Dang it, that's pretty. Okay, I'm just using a standard epoxy here and of course the critical part that you mix equal half of the epoxy. It's got to have both parts. Because this is a crack, I'm going to make it worse. Got to get that crack apart. Enough of that, we can get the epoxy in there. Okay, we're back with the rudder repair. You can see these are the spots that I filled with some of the epoxy the other day. They are nicely set up. So, 
in order to make sure that the new epoxy bonds to this, I need to sand this. Uh, it all has to be rough because epoxy will not bond to itself. So I'm going to uh, wipe this off and then give it a, a good sand down. But you can also see that in comparison to what we had before, these joints are, are really stabilized. So now we're going to lay down a sheet of what's called boat cloth. It's a fiberglass material. And then we are going to pour two-part West system epoxy over that. That will be a penetrating epoxy. So hopefully penetrating nicely into this wood. And with that coat of uh, fiberglass and epoxy, we're hoping that, that gives it abrasion resistance and some strength. Uh, and so that we don't have to replace these. Okay, so first things first, had to open and get my West System 105 resin and 206 hardener. And the reason that I'm going with this system, besides the fact that I love dented cans, which by the way, you're wondering how you can get such sweet destroyed and dented cans, um, you just have to order from a bad company on Amazon. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm using this is because this is not my first epoxy project and my last one went catastrophically bad. Part of that was the lackadaisical attitude that I had for appropriately measuring the amount of hardener in and mixing it in properly. So I have obsessively watched YouTube videos and thank you, there are a couple of really good examples. Uh, the guy with his Icelandic uh, dog named Jörkel, that guy. Um, it's really exact with everything that he does and all his projects seem to work out. So using the same stuff that he used, I'm gonna try and use the same, you know, mix it thoroughly. I've ordered the same mixing cups. I ordered mixing sticks. Uh, you know, I've got gloves, I've got my sweet overalls on. Uh, the other part that I'm using for this is, of course, the fabric. So this is six ounce fiberglass fabric. So the ounces, that tells you, how heavy the material is. So this is six ounces per, I don't know, square foot, square something. Anyway, this is kind of what was recommended. And you can see that it's, it's nice. And considering this is a rudder, I know we wanted something that was a little bit thicker. Otherwise, why, why bother even doing it? So what I'll do now is get this into shape and cut for what I'm trying to do. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut the material enough to wrap both sides. So, and now I'm just trying to get it to kind of sit here and lay flat over the surface. This works as long as you, you know, so I've primed the pumps. And I'm getting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then mix, and mix. So pot life on this 206, which kind of tells you how long you can mix it and how long you can continue to work with it, is 20 to 25 minutes. Working time is 90 to 110 minutes and cures in about 10 to 15 hours. Now, because it's just Florida, because I'm gonna be storing it inside an unair conditioned shipping container, times might be slightly less than that just because it's so unbearably hot inside. This says to stir it for at least one minute. And like I say, I was not a good boy. I did not listen to the instructions before. And this time I'm a changed man. And I'm going to listen. I'm going to do what they told me to do. Okay, so I've been a good boy and I have stirred my epoxy for the last minute. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it right over the... I'm going to use my squeegee here to get the resin. Need 
balcony. It is now sometime later, and now both coats or both sides have dried. Now we need to go through and trim off the excess of this one. Don't forget, the sanding of fiberglass is a horrible activity. I'm itching just thinking about it. Buy yourself a Tyvek suit off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Gloves, a mask is a must, and eye protection. Okay, so the first coat of epoxy and glass has been sanded down nice and flat. It's been, had that hopefully outside coat roughed up enough that now we can uh, get the new coat to stick. And now we will put on another coat. <laughs>